everyone! So, for the past few weeks, I've been taking my very first oil painting class. If you know me, you'll know that I have almost no history in taking art classes. This is mostly due to the fact that I've been scared to take them because I've heard so many stories of being turned off of art because of something a teacher said, and I've also just been pretty stubborn about wanting to learn things my way. But the folks at Evolve reached out recently and asked if I'd like to try out their course and share my experience with you all, so I figured, why not? <laughs> no harm in learning something new. Their curriculum is broken down into several parts and works on one technique at a time to make sure that you're confident in your skills before each technique is added. Block 1, which I'll be working from, is all about value and form. Block 2 focuses on proportional drawing, Block 3 adds color, and Block 4 is about direct painting and putting everything you learn together. After the first four blocks, you can move on to the advanced curriculum, which focuses on different styles and approaches to painting. Evolve sent me their first box of materials that they send their students, which included a box of four Old Holland grayscale paints, which are really high quality and nice to work with, a variety of filbert brushes, clove oil and linseed oil, a dropper, a palette knife, a little measuring tape, reference photographs, transfer images, transfer paper, which I have never used before, so that was fun disposable paper palettes, a ton of canvas paper, and checklists for lessons. I feel like one of the only things I got frustrated with in this process is tracing the transfer images. Getting a straight line on top of the canvas paper was pretty much impossible because of all the bumps and ridges, but we made it work. The lessons start out very simple. The first one was just painting squares, which sounds boring, but the key was to really focus on how you were handling the brush and getting the right amount of paint down and being super precise in your brushwork. It reminded me to slow down and make sure I stayed focused. I very rarely have to paint such technical shapes, so it was actually a bit of a challenge. The second lesson brought in gradients, which I've kind of developed my own technique for over the years, but Evolve's technique for building gradients made me think about it in a whole new way. It was difficult at first, but I think I eventually got the hang of it. Next lessons brought in more 3D shapes and also taught a little bit about how shadows work. These took me longer than I expected because, again, normally I would be rushing through to get all of the values blocked in as fast as I could, but they really encourage you to take your time and make sure you're not carelessly putting down paint so that you don't have to go back later and fix everything. I kind of liked this because it ended up being a really peaceful process, and I think we all need to remember to slow down sometimes. I love that this was something I could do on my own time and at my own pace. There's no deadlines, but it also doesn't allow you to rush through it because after every lesson you turn in your work online and an instructor will review it and give you your feedback before you can move on to the next lesson. 
If it had deadlines, I would have been stressed out getting the exercises done, which doesn't always end well when you're painting. And if it didn't slow you down a little, I probably would have rushed my way through it otherwise and not learned quite as much. Another awesome thing about this program is the ability to schedule one-on-ones with instructors as well, so you can show them how you're working through the video call and have a conversation with them face-to-face -face and ask them questions. In the homework tool, students also have access to a study group calendar where they can interact with other students too. This course actually started helping me recognize my own habits. I started realizing things like why I hold my brush in certain positions for certain effects. Usually I'd be kind of unaware of why I was doing things in a painting, just kind of in a dream state and playing around with the paint until something worked. But the realization that those techniques that I've been doing subconsciously have an actual reason made me much more aware of what I was doing and it helped me figure out why I'm doing it. And I think that knowledge will actually help me not spend so much time messing around with everything till it works in future paintings because I'll have a better idea of exactly which techniques I need to use for whatever effects I want. Overall, I had more fun doing these exercises than I thought I would, and I learned quite a bit too. I tend to take shortcuts a lot, and I can also make mistakes and not fix them immediately, which then makes it much harder to fix later on. This course definitely reminded me of the effects of those decisions, not only for myself having to put more time into the painting to fix something that should have been fixed before, but also for the painting itself, as it probably would look cleaner if I had taken my time with it. Learning about linseed oil and clove oil was really interesting too. Usually I use mineral spirits and other mediums like stand oil or gel medium, but I've always been unsure of exactly how much I want to use. The dropper was actually one of my favorite things because it made so much sense to pre-mix in the oil with the paint with more exact measurements beforehand. I'll definitely be using it more in the future. I've also always kind of been messy and unorganized in my palette and that's something I need to work on too. fun learning new things and doing these exercises. As my first oil painting class, I feel like it went really smoothly and didn't turn me off of art forever like I was afraid of as a kid, so that's good. For me, it was almost a reset and a reminder to be more intentional. For those of you interested in learning more about Evolve, I'll leave resources in the description box below. I know I didn't create a masterpiece or anything, but I really appreciate you for watching and supporting me. It means so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.